You can't run in a campsite. You can only ran because it's past tense. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another YouTube exclusive cast. This one's coming up from the Twitch Rivals event. Our good friend down here to the bottom left, I Love Boxer, is better known as Zombie Grub. With her opponent at the top right on the North American ladder, we have Psystorm Gaming's Warren. I got we've actually seen his name several times for North American related things. Uh, I wouldn't say like the most the most renowned player in North America, but he is a higher profile dude. So uh, very kind of telling of Zombie Grub a little bit here. Like congratulations and kudos. She's facing somebody as such as him is uh, impressive. Now quickly, because I don't know how long this is going to be. Let's just go ahead and uncheck that because that'll drive me nuts. But hello and welcome, dear YouTube. As I've been saying for all these videos, if you like these YouTube exclusive casts, as long as you keep liking, commenting, and, well, let's be honest, nobody's subscribing, but as long as you do the first two, I'll keep pumping these out. It's been a little bit of fun for me to kind of experiment and see how how these videos do. It's actually astonishing how much better these once-off broadcasts do compared to, like, entire tournaments that we upload. Which I understand why, because hey, I've made this specially for you guys, not the folks on Twitch. I've had to tell the people on Twitch, go check out YouTube if you've been missing some of the action. But, yeah, as long as you keep liking, I'll keep doing it. It's been pretty fun. And uh, we'll see how far it goes. Anyways, as far as this goes, this was from the Twitch Rivals event. There was a ladder grind section of it. Each, players, uh, well, each one of the players competing got to play 10 ladder games. And your score at the end would determine your placement. So, for example, if you went 5-5, five and five, that would be your score at the end. You can't play an 11th game to make up for it. Zombie Grub has, of course, been the one who sent me this replay. I have no clue if this was a win or a loss, because Zombie Grub actually didn't get that great of a score. Sorry, Zombie Grub! But uh, she'll also be, more importantly, casting one of my games. <laughs> you know, the guy who had an amazing 9-1 score. <laughs> anyway, she'll be casting one of my games over on her YouTube channel, so it's all about that cross-promotion. If you want to check that out, just go to youtube.com slash zombiegrub. She actually has lots of tutorials and some kind of cool videos. She's done stuff on Idra. Uh, it's, a whole, it's a whole interesting experience. Be sure to check it out. And, of course, if you ever want to catch her on Twitch, twitch.tv slash zombiegrub. But Rifkin... Why is Zombiegrub not cast the base trade TV anymore? Well, I'll tell you guys the same thing we have in our Twitch chat. I'm not Zombiegrub's dad. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, this has actually been a hotly debated thing. So I guess this is the perfect time to address it while we have a bit of a slower opener. Although I am curious what Zombiegrub plans to do with that starport. Because if it's a medevac, I'm going to like her a lot. And if it's a liberator, well, you are just a cliche there, aren't you? Uh, but as far as those who haven't been keeping in the loop, oh, you are. <laughs> we get a pumpkin spice latte too during the autumn. <laughs> Typical. Anyways, for those who haven't been keeping up to date with things, it's been well over a year at this point, and we still get the same questions pretty frequently, both of us. And the reality is, Zombie Grub wanted more free time to pursue other things. Casting on base trade TV, we were almost casting every single day of the week. We were doing minimum five days, sometimes seven. And she decided she wanted to start working on her own channel and pursue more casting gigs and things that wouldn't interfere with our events. So she has just gone from being like full time to really freelance. She comes on once in a while. She's available. I'm pretty much never going to say, no, I don't want to see you here. Like, obviously, I'm going to be excited to have a co-caster, much less a friend. So just like on the record, so everyone is fully aware of what's going on. Like Zombie Grub's just doing her own thing. If she's available and wanting to cast on the channel, she'll be here. And if she's not, then she'll probably be doing work and things on her own for example i haven't cast any of the wcs winter qualifiers or iem qualifiers for 2019 so far it is january 19th at the time of me recording this by the way uh but she's been casting a lot of that so again pursuing her own goals her own endeavors good luck have fun now this liberator actually works out pretty well the widow mine was a nice grab on a stalker the distraction of course in the main base has brought the stalkers and the warpins up here leaving her free to try and catch the probes but warren actually does a really nice move there i like this he puts the stalker and he warps it in such a location that has really messed up the ai uh she hasn't realized this so that that one alien unfortunately is going to just get there stuck for a while but beauty is it only takes three shots to kill a probe so it's not perfect, but this was enough to get up here and do some more damage, and she certainly did some more damage. 17 probes died in total from this attack? That was damn impressive for Zombie Grub. Hellion was standing. Uh, on the other hand, though, this is a little bit on Warren. He had opened with a lot of Stalkers, and uh, I mean, if you're going to have that many Stalkers, that a Liberator, much less Hellion, should be the least of your worries. 
Of course, for Zombie Girl, well, she got some nice kills. She did give away a good chunk of her army to get said kills. So now there's a possible counterattack coming out of Ward. He's got Blink. <laughs> Speaking of typical, <laughs> am I right? Actually, it's not. Blink's not really the go-to anymore, but Automaton's got some pretty big weaknesses. She's got a Widowmine over here trying to cover some of those, but it's going to be tough to be in the right position without seeing this coming. She even has a single one of mine heading across the map, looking to get some more probe kills, but all hands on deck. She'll have to focus at home. There's no bunker. These tanks are fairly exposed. If you wanted to get really aggressive, if you knew that there wasn't a third tank on the high ground, you could have blinked on top of those tanks and killed them both. But for Warren, his end game isn't breaking the natural. It's getting up over here. And oh, this one of mine! Don't win a mine if I do! Grabs a stalker kill. A little bit of splash damage too, not too shabby, but of course now Zombie Rub's gotta respond to this. It's a big attack. A couple of tanks are out, so you have to definitely pull some SCVs if she wants to stay in this game. Big Warpin's out of war and more stalkers coming up here. And let's not forget with Blink, he does have an exit strategy, but oh, not realizing perhaps. Oh, he does realize he was taking some of that tank fire. Several of the stalkers were very much in danger of going down. On the other side of the map, that Widow Mine brought the worker kill count from 17 to 24. So a pretty nice shot by the looks of things. The problem for Zombie Grub, though, is it doesn't matter how many workers she kills if she can never control her base. And the Sockers blink into the tanks. They sit on top of that dead zone. One shot goes off, a little bit of splash damage. Then she really, truly has to rely on the Marauders and the Marines to stay alive in this game. The Medivac comes back to try and touch these up, but pulling the boys and get those SCVs in the fight might be the only way she can maintain her base because she's losing her add-ons. She's a little supply block. She's only freeing up supplies as more things die. Like, this is not a great spot to be in. Well, as far as the army is concerned, she is up 20 workers. So this is where she has SCVs to lose. She can have a couple of these get picked off and still be just dandy with that natural base set up. Marines, of course, have got the DPS and the Marauders helping clean up the backside of this. But that blink on those stalkers out sustains the damage to Zombie Grub's current army. And those SCVs are gone. Her lead economically disappeared. She's pulled more SCVs from the natural. Really just trying to clean this up. Easier said than done. More blink mic round awards looking fantastic. And Zombie Grub can't catch a break. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, she does have that medevac with a Widowmine. Maybe round two could go off. I don't know. She's not paying attention to it right now, obviously, because she's busy bleeding out of home. A barracks goes down, and the worst part about this is there was a small opportunity about 30 seconds, 40 seconds ago, where the stalkers were over here, and her army could have possibly picked off that warp prism. It is the continual reinforcements that are making this so impossible for her to deal with. A couple new Widowmines going to burrow down. It's going to push this back. He does get the warp prism. Or she, part of me, I was going to say he loses the Warp Prism. But for some reason, I shifted my dynamic to Zombie Gum. She'll hold the line. She'll grab the Observer. Nicely done. Now she has to get back to work because she's got no SCVs and no money. 13 workers on her side of the map. Goes for a bro. Grabs a probe. Not great. Not bad. Because the medevac gets to chill here for a little bit. But despite having two command centers and a lot of mules, uh, recovering from this is going to be a long and difficult task. Beyond this, Warren's actually getting two things that are going to make her life messy. One is Warp Prism Speed, which is about halfway, well, a little over halfway done. The other, of course, are Disruptors. Now, the current state of the Disruptor is really up to interpretation onto whether it's good or not. Technically, it can get more damage done than the pre-patch version of itself, but it's a lot harder to actually get that damage done. Many times you're... Uh, Disruptor gets picked off before the shot detonates. You, can't, you cannot prematurely pop it. And uh, because it doesn't pop on the first contact the units it comes in with, it's not a guaranteed shot. But the trade-off is, if it does get it shot off, it's usually a much higher yield of damage. Either way, I think one thing Zombie Grub is certainly aware of is that being on a lower worker count, and she knows she's got to be after that attack, uh... She can't just sit back and play macro. If she had a third CC, maybe that's another situation, but it's not. She lost a lot of her production, but half of her barracks went down. And she's not going to win this through mules. So her best option is to try and get aggressive and catch Warren before he starts snowballing. Right now, she's got the army supply for it. I think... Oh, did her plus one get denied? I didn't even catch that. Oof. Well, whether it was denied or just coming down late, uh, she doesn't have a weapons advantage going into this. She's missing out on combat shields. That's really going to hurt. But with... Uh, oh, wait, she does have combat shields. Excuse me. It's just those skins. Ah, again, using skins? I can't tell you combat shields. We got a regame. Uh, pardon me. I don't know where that came from. Anyways, with uh, a small army like this, she can pick off a couple of stalkers for sure. But that disruptor, three of them are going to make this really difficult. Uh, back it away only loses the Widowmine for now. 
But yeah, she's fully aware she has to be aggressive. Time is not on her side. Stim and uh, combat shots is helpful for sure, but plus one would make this a much better situation. Uh, pumping out more Liberator. She's got a rally coming across the map with those Marines. Uh, again, her production is so limited, but uh, to be honest, Liberators might be able to win this game depending on the angle of engagement. If Warren can find a way to blink around and pick these off, it's actually not going to be too bad for him to stop the attack. But if she gets to set up those Liberators and Warren would have to trade out a really costly blink to take care of them, the Zombie could win this game. The Disruptor Shot goes off to keep the Marauders back. Realizing that though, she splits. Oh, great splits out of Zombie Grub. Second one, not so much, but the Stalkers are taking a lot of damage to take care of those Liberators. All these Disruptors are on cooldown. This is Zombie Grub's time to shine. Marines and Marauders push in. Most of the Stalkers are gone. She's falling back. Oh, he's falling back. Man, pronouns are difficult when there's only usually guys in StarCraft 2. Now I got a girl to worry about, but point is, the person in blue fell back to the shield battery, defended and held. Zombie Grub not going to be able to continue pushing the issue just yet, but the same problem persists. She didn't get ahead of Macro. She didn't kill any workers through this. Like, realistically, she's got to take another good fight. And so far, that dogfight's not looking too bad. The Disruptor shots are a little scary, but she keeps splitting. I'm so impressed with these splits, by the way. They don't have to be perfect, but they're enough that she's minimizing the damage. That's like, what, six Disruptor shots in total? Only one of them have been decent? It wasn't even that, like, amazing. Not shit your pants, freak out, and start yelling, right? Like... So these disruptors are still trying to get the shots off. The stalkers come into the liberator. Might be a bit of a mistake. Splits are looking good out of zombie grub once again. Got to dodge this last shot. Couple of marauders can clean up these stalkers and these disruptors are in cooldown once again. She can keep pressing the issue. She should keep pressing the issue. But it's such a small amount of units that finally has plus one. And she gets over here. The shield battery is out of use. Disruptor one goes down. Disruptor two falls. Mostly just stalkers. Warren actually doesn't have charge. This is a big deal. If he had zealots, this would be such an easier hold. But with just marauders, or excuse me, stalkers going up against marauders, it's only three marauders, but marauders are so good against stalkers. They are a hard counter in this situation. Desperately trying to get another disruptor out. No immortals in play. No zealots available. The last few stalkers are going down. Probes get pulled. Boy, we've seen desperation with workers this game from both sides. But it looks like Zombie Grub's got a handle on things. 14 army supply left for our Protoss, and it's all coming down as stalkers. Even if this disruptor spawns, which it doesn't, it would not have the time to get the damage done it needed. Congratulations to I Love Boxer, aka Zombie Grub, on winning her ladder match there in Twitch Rivals. Again, you guys should definitely check out her channel if you want to see her cast my game. Again, that's youtube.com slash zombiegrub. It'll be linked in the description down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching this content. I know it's very different, but as I said at the start of this video, I'm very happy to see that it's getting success. So thank you guys for being awesome. Make sure to like the video. I'll see you on the next one.